number one talk radio station. Courtney Bryant is in the studio with us and there was some food news coming out about how top British restaurants are now charging for no-shows. I am actually going to start doing that every time a guest doesn't show up. Chef Junior was supposed to be here. He's going to be charged next week. Farmer's Kitchen on Dubai Eye <laughs> 103.8. Milani is clapping her hand. If the guest doesn't show up, do you know how st- stressful that is for me? But Courtney, you are here. Yes, and I do know how stressful it is. Yeah, it you, is very stressful. You, ne- you never fail yes. to amaze me. Mm. So let's talk about these restaurants because I kind of agree with this. I, d- I definitely agree with this. So this is an article from The Guardian. It happened earlier this week. 90 out of the top 100 restaurants in the UK charge for no-shows. And that is a course it could be... If you cancel hours before, it could be even cancel if you cancel days before. No, no, hang on a minute. Sometimes they give you 24 hours or two days Sometimes before. Sometimes they do. They must, there must be a certain amount of time. Like, what if, what if, okay, what if you're driving there, you're all dressed up to these fancy restaurants because they're the big ones, and you get a flat tire? Those, I think they are willing to work around to say, we will reschedule. But the, the point of this article is that that table has been given and they cannot make money when nobody is at that table so they are forfeit the cost of the, the cost of the food they for, forfeit you know any additional spend you were going to have there and when you cancel say on a wednesday for a friday it's often very difficult to get people in on that mm-hmm. short of notice now some of these restaurants are quite big and have wait lists yeah. but i think i would love to see that here that some sort of deposits made because we are a, i love you dubai you could be a flaky city and and these Chefs in these restaurants work so hard, and they and they have this all this and this prep and and all the food that comes in. And when you when you just turn up and if you're a yeah. six top, if you're six people or two, you know whatever it is, somebody has put effort into that, and now they can't make money from it. So I don't remember if uh, my memory's going. I don't know if I actually overheard this in a conversation or watched it on a TV show, and somebody said. Are they the kind of person? Now this is something I would never, and I never have done. Um, are you the kind of person that books three restaurants on the same day and you decide then where you want to go? And they said yes. No. That's okay. horrendous. That is. That's absolutely. Disrespectful, by the way. Yes. And to, to anybody in your life for any reason, you know, if there, there, of course there's extenuating circumstances if you mm. do get a flat tire. But if you just decide not to turn up or to pick one, you know, don't do that. You know, <laughs> make a commitment because... These people work very hard to bring beautiful food to your table. The least you can do is respect them and pick the one that you're going to go to. And and this is why, you know, often I think in Dubai we've seen it with the larger groups. You will usually have to make a deposit. But I hope that this trend picks up because... We do flake, and the, literally, yeah. this is a fact. We flake more than than because when you speak to restaurant tours here, they might be like, "No, we might have like twelve to seventeen percent here." I think it's something like thirty percent. So uh, somebody's just text, no name. There are big restaurants here that have walk-ins charging for no shows. It's a bit of a cop out. That's an opinion. Okay, that's yeah. an opinion. That's an opinion. We won't make a comment, but that's yeah, an opinion. That's an opinion. <laughs> yes. So walk-ins are fine. So how about this? Um, a friend of mine is in London this week. He couldn't find anything for a reservation. He kind of texted around, and there was a place for a solo diner to, to be a walk-in. So that's totally fine. Yeah. If you can't make a decision till yeah. the last minute, be a walk-in. I mean, there are, there are a lot of places here that are walk-ins. We are very yes. fortunate, too, as well. Um, but if you do a no-show at one of these fancy restaurants, Tell everybody what kind of money you're going to have to pay if you don't show up. Right. So this is in the UK. This is not necessarily here. It can it can range. Um, I think one of the higher ones was around 150 pounds per person. I'd rather turn up and eat. So that's about 500 dirhams. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth turning up. Yes. So um, this this just brings like what I'm about to say now is like snuggling in a pillow on a rainy day and we're talking about a mashed potato bar that has opened not here it better soon yes where um this is in scotland in edinburgh Um, it's cold there they need it but a mashed potato is there is there anything more lush in the world than a mashed potato bar no No, no. there isn't tell me what's on the menu they i mean they have other you know different treats in scottish food as well but it's it's organic potatoes and then you just can Pick your toppings and it's gourmet and, and just imagine so the it's possibilities. Like, is it like a posh jacket potato? 
I think there. I think I think yes, you can get jacket, but I think they're known for the mash, and I think the te- yeah. yeah, like so. I used to make mash with mm. um, milk because it was healthy, and then I met a French chef, and he put cream, and it, my world changed, and so did my stomach, obviously. Yes, yeah, and yeah. the calories. It's yeah. the it's the fat content. So in especially like French creams, you're you're over thirty percent fat. <laughs> that, your body is craving that fat and butter and all that. Yeah, <sighs> it's just oh, it's dangerous. Okay, now this is crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't understand it, and I saw it on the. The news before you sent it me too and that is stir fried stones and I'm talking about stones hard stones you find in the ground I even my husband sent this to me and this is a CNN article so in um, in a province in China would you eat you're not, you're not consuming it but they they have the, the big hot pot and they're stirring up yeah. wait for it stones yeah you are served the stones and the word or the translation in chinese is to and i hope i'm not offending anyone suck and dispose yeah, <laughs> yeah but why i don't understand because the flavors in the stone and i guess this this specific stone retains the flavor so you're just really consuming the flavor of it mm. and then um yeah each portion of your of your rocks or your stones cost about um us two Two dollars thirty, which I don't know what's that about six six dirhams for some stones and some flavor. Not for me because I would I just, naturally want to chew. I, I, think I I'm break gonna, a tooth. I'd break a tooth. Hundred yeah, percent. Nah, I'm too old. I'd break a tooth. My teeth aren't that uh, young anymore. But I want to <laughs> end with something. Have you heard of McDonald's? Uh, in the news, they've got a newlywed package. I did, and I almost sent this through. So <laughs> this is in Indonesia. Yeah. So and it's like it's kind of the dream for maybe the later. So you, it's a catered <laughs> event by McDonald's. McDonald's for your wedding. It's like a certain amount of chicken burgers. Yeah, let me take 100 yep. burgers and 100 boxes of chicken nuggets and uh, for the bride and the groom and the guests for a bargain sum of $235. I'm not mad at it. I'm not. It's a bargain. I would, uh, you know... You know, oh, uh, hey, I'm celebrating my 20th. I could, I could renew my vows. There we could have go. a fancy dinner. We could have this catered McDonald's event. I'll be event. there. Fantastic. There's 100 You're burgers. invited. You're invited. 99 less. Thank you so much, Courtney, and I wish you a lovely happy anniversary. Thank you.